The modeling technology, where well, we were talking a little bit early, the modeling technology that is the same kind of concept as what's used in this piano was being used for reverberation initially. And uh, one of the uh, products that I first came across that was uh, AudioEase, which is uh, a company in, in Holland, they made a product called Altiverb. And at the time I was working with Gino Vanelli on an album that was a few years ahead of the time. It was a classical album, a crossover album, and uh, we had uh, built up uh, uh, all of our tracks and so forth, and we were going to play them back in this church to get, you know, a nice authentic sound. We'd booked the church. I'd been monitoring the progress of this company, and they finally put out a demo. We were able to we didn't have a great connection in that studio, so overnight I was able to download the demo. We put it up and we listened to it, and this, the model that they had used as their presentation, one of them anyway, was the Concertgebouw, considered to be one of the greatest concert halls in the world. So we put up the tracks, turned to one another and said, cancel the church. Really? Of course. You don't it, need it. This was so much better. And, of course, now with these products. Yeah. Uh, pretty, I have in my computer pretty much every hall right. of, any, of any standing in the world and then a whole lot of other bizarre and, things. And do you well. always use the same piano voice when you use this one or do you, do you try oh, No, I, we monkey voices. around quite a bit with it actually. Yeah. Um, one of the things that I was hoping, maybe, uh, I don't know whether we downloaded it or not, I did a, 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 a dead mock-up of, of uh, Gould since my association with the Gould Foundation, uh, a few years back I did a play in which we needed to, to have um, some actual performances as Gould. So I took the original recordings and um, I, I did an exact duplication as MIDI files. And I've put them actually on a, I put them into my piano at home wow. and switched them around. So it's not, you know, you can hear it with the all silver and all, it, it's quite interesting. Yeah. And Gould himself, of course, tried things on different oh, pianos well, Gould, as well. Oh, if Gould had lived, he would be on these machines. Oh, yeah. Because, remember, I mean, his yeah. famous thing was experimentation, get out of the halls, get into the studios, control everything, yeah. focus, uh, work, work with all the technology. Yeah. He would have followed that technology. Exactly. That's great uh, exactly. enthusiasm, sure. Yeah. And, of course, this piano, like many of the other ones, it, it has uh, the ability for you to have MIDI tracks and so forth playback. If you're rehearsing your Rachmaninoff piano concerto. <laughs> yeah, the Rock 3. Yeah, yeah the Rock 3. Yeah, well, let's well, <laughs> start with the 2 and work yeah. our way out. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, but you can, you can certainly rehearse with your orchestra that way and change tempo and all of that, that yeah. good stuff. And that, that's um, not new, news um, in the sort of professional electronic world, but in the, uh, let's say, in the home product world, sometimes they're, they're uh, not as familiar with the right. ability to do that. Maybe we should uh, prevail upon you to play a little something. Are Please we, do. We, we go, well, I'm, I don't know what would you, what we're, what's it's styled up at the moment. It's a machine too, isn't it? That's the, the out-of-the-box V Concert Grand, and here's the mellow one, so the, just... Switch to the... It's a little closer to the Beckstein that I, yeah. that I yeah, have. Yeah, sounds great. That's a vintage. We were talking about which uh, references are made to these pianos as to what pianos were sampled, or not sampled, of course, modeled, and which um, famous brand names they might be. It's an interesting problem because of, uh, obviously brands have, have a concern about whether you uh, use their name and say we've reproduced that or not. But 
for the average person, they want to know where you're starting from. And uh, so these vintage pianos are in the professional side, the stage piano, they're kind of well identified and they're well known pianos. We were just discussing about some of the ones that have been reproduced, which uh, I was really happy to learn. Uh, there's some quite accurate reproductions of known pianos. Why would I want that? Because I want that, <laughs> you know. Anyway, William, why don't you play? Come on, sit down, show us uh, your stuff. I'm just a, I'm just a self-taught yeah, guy. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> I learned a few songs from my, my dad's piano player in the big band out in Alberta, you know. Oh yeah. American sort of song book right? kind of stuff. So. Oh, it's such a beautiful. He was entertaining uh, town folk just a few weeks ago. Right. You, you were, were entertaining uh, town folk not so long yes. ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Down in Costa Rica, we had mm -hmm. the, all the mayors into our place mm -hmm. from the local towns, and we had a concert <laughs> in the middle of our courtyard. <laughs> and she came up to me afterwards in English. She gave me a big hug, and she said in English, God bless you. But her son is a professional musician. He was there, too. So, yeah, we're spreading the, we're spreading the news, as they say. <laughs> You're infecting the hive. I can uh, almost hear it ringing through the hills of Walmart. things is it feels like the piano is talking back to you. It, it responds is, completely yeah. to pressure, just like the acoustic piano. I don't know how they've been able to give you the feel of the key, the responsiveness to sound, it's, the sustain, everything is there. Everything is there. It's not just, again, the sound. The, the feel of the key feels right. It, it feels... Yeah, it does. It responds It feels as so, if it's a natural environment. So beautiful. And the pedals as well. I think they did a very good job. Pedals are, are one of the pesky areas, uh, particularly for the concert people. And they like to be able... Forget about half pedaling. They want a quarter pedal. Right. And you can pull it off. You well, can, we heard this piano last uh, June with a uh, you know, fantastic classical performance. Yeah. That you just forgot entirely that it wasn't real. Uh, yeah, or quote real, whatever uh, real is and, now, and yeah. it, it was just fantastic. So it's amazing. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful looking thing. That was the other thing I loved is that I really I thought it would be good, <laughs> but again, if you if you've been owning a a, a great piano of like having the Beckstein, I know about the craftsmanship and so forth. 
I thought, well, it can't possibly compete at that level. You know what? It does. It looks that good. Costa Rica, I have to say. <laughs> now I'm going to have to trade up, you see. What's happening here? Well, which one do you have? Do you have this I have one? the very basic one, F7, I think. It's oh, really yeah. good. Okay. So that's not even in the but, same... Uh, but, you know, <laughs> this, is like, this is like a dangerous kind of experiment, isn't it? Well, I think one of the things that's really interesting that what Rob has is he has here in this salon, almost uniquely in the world, a collection of some of the great acoustic pianos and they all have their merit to put this piano on the same in the same room even with that people in the classical world are, are pretty finicky and to say no we're ready to do it is a, a real leap of faith in a way but once you sit down and try it it's 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 a uh, you can't now say that there's a big difference. There's only the difference that exists between a Busendorfer and a Schimmel or a Beckstein or a Yamaha and so forth, all of which have their own particular characteristics that will speak to you as a performer. And that's it. That, as so you say, always in tune. And after, it, after, after this, then you can get into the... Uh, ethereal voices and do your Star Trek for, for all yeah for all the people who do that stuff it's, <laughs> it's, it's too much fun. it's great it's too much fun but it's it's the tinker part that's amazing I mean that's uh, you know compared with the uh, my basic Roland it has so much uh, uh, well, dimension they're depth. a little bit different technologies yeah, as well yeah. as, uh, um, it's a beaut uh, I'll take it, I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> sold! That's sold! I, I tell you it didn't take me uh, I was uh, you know, decades thinking I needed what I wanted to have. And this, uh, I finally sat down with myself and said, great, it's a wonderful instrument. Not, you're not playing it, Elaine's not playing it. We both sat down and no. played this piano and loved it. I said, okay, fine, let's swap them in and out. It, you know, it's just, uh, it's, the, it's the cliche of the proof in the pudding. You can have whatever attitude you want, mm -hmm. and then you just have to sit down and try these things. And then when you find out that they just speak back to you like this, you're, 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 you're trapped, and, you're, and your prejudices and your assumptions have to go they out. They have to go out the window and, and something let, else has happened. And it's let the it 21st speak to you. century, you know, yeah. it's not that old 20th one, I guess. And that's, a, that's just a beauty, I mean. It, it's happened in so many areas that I maybe I was primed for it more, but with I have a lot of expensive Austrian microphones, right? And I'll take them out, and I'll put them up, and I'll listen to the singer, and I'll take them down, and I'll put them back in their case, <laughs> and take out my favorite Australian right, right. microphone or or you know other, wow. and I'm putting that up there, and they are. It's not just a. It's not even a in. From my perspective, it's not even a contest anymore. Really? Uh, yeah. Uh, and that's changed across the board in all kinds of things electronically. And many people would attribute that to, to uh, China coming online and having the quality control that makes these things possible. That's part of it. But I also think um, in the case of, say, uh, some of the products that I use that are, are entirely made in Australia, they've just been stimulated to do it in a better, you're a lucky guy way. to work full time in music. 